Hello there, Terry Britton here, and this recording is going to be all about setting up the IK Multimedia ARC 2 speaker correction uh, VST so that you can use it uh, to listen to your system sounds, that is your media players, your video players, uh, YouTube videos, anything, through the corrected speakers. Now it's a VST plugin, so it doesn't work directly in Windows, nor does it work uh, directly in Voice Meter without a host. But we're going to use Voice Meter and the Cantabile Lite software as a host for the ARC 2 DLL, okay, the, the VST. And we're going to set it up as an insert to Voice Meter so that it's sending the information prefader out to Cantabile and back in again processed uh, so that we can listen to it. And we're going to be using this slider right here, the VAO slider. <laughs> now, the whole idea of the ARC2 speaker and room correction software is that it optimizes your listening environment. Now, IK Multimedia recommends listening to everything you can using the correction so that you can get used to the sound of corrected speakers with properly mixed music and video sources so that you become accustomed to how those mixes sound in that optimized environment. We use Voice Meter as the default playback device in Windows here, and it's inserts to send out to and back from Cantabile Lite as a host to the ARC2 VST plugin. So uh, both Cantabile Lite and Voice Meter allow you to save and load setups and they both start up with the last used settings intact so they are easy to use together and optimize your environment for all your listening experiences once you have this all set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the steps that's, that are involved. So. Of course, you're going to have your ARC system installed and probably are already using it with your uh, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. Uh, so we go to uh, VB Audio and get the, <clears throat> the VB Audio software. Now we want the Voice Meter Banana version. It, this trick only works with the professional, the so-called Voice Meter Pro banana version because it's the only one that supports inserts okay so we'll get that and install it and we'll also download Cantabile which is a plugin host for live performance an extremely stable host that's used by professionals all over the world and uh, can't say enough good things about it they have a free light version and that's what we're going to use here. So go to the download page and get the stable build. Now there's one installer for all versions of Cantabile. So when you install it and start it up, you will simply select the light version, okay? Now you want to, uh, of course, if you haven't already, install your Arc System uh, plugin into your VST plugins folder so that it's there. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. So now we, we have to run Cantabile. So the first thing to start up is Cantabile. Okay, uh, and then start up Voice Meter Pro. Always start them in that order with Cantabile first because otherwise on many systems, the sync can have trouble engaging and holding and locking okay if you start voice meter first it may have trouble not all systems have this problem but some do i have one computer that has an issue and another that doesn't but whenever i start cantabile first i have no issues now once you have voice meter in started go to your a1 and this is essential and select a output device where your speakers are on mine, it's on the Motu Audio, and the best choice is always an ASIO device. If you have a ASIO hardware device, always choose that 
because you'll get the best latency and uh, buffer settings possible with voice meter if it's driven by an ASIO hardware device. Otherwise, select a uh, good WDM or, uh, you know, input or even a kernel streaming, KS. I don't have any of those on mine. I've disabled them in my device manager because I only use this on uh, this particular system. Okay, so with that selected, uh, you now have the output to your speakers, okay? And that is set up. You can set up two more outputs, two different outputs. And I use my eight, Mo2 828's ports in order to send out to uh, my monitor. So you see the A3 is where I'm monitoring to be able to hear. But you'll want to have your A1 lit up. But uh, because that is, that's the output to this first one. Okay, so have that selected like that. Okay, now in Windows Control Panel, the Audio Control Panel, which you can get to by uh, right-clicking on the speaker icon at the bottom by the clock or going to the Control Panel and opening it up, uh, make sure the Voice Meter VAIO is selected as the default. So just like this one is offering to set as default device and default communications device, set voice meter as the default device and default communications device. Okay, now all of your audio will go that, that's coming in from uh, your players and from YouTube and you know websites and stuff will all come into this slider right here, the VAIO slider. All right, and Okay, so, and we have the A1, so it's now anything that's played, it will go out to our speakers from this. You got it? Okay. Now, go to Cantabile, and go to your Tools and Options, and we have to set up the, uh, the routing. So first, of course, we have to have the audio engine selected correctly, and that is the ASIO Voice Meter Insert Virtual ASIO, okay? Voice Meter Insert Virtual ASIO. That's what connects you to Voice Meter's Insert Engine. And it's ASIO, so it's very fast. Maybe virtual ASIO, but it's very fat, very lean and efficient. Then we have to create some audio ports. So you hit the add button down here and we first set up a stereo input port and I'll call that, uh, let's see, what do I call that? I'll call it Windows Audio uh, VAIO Insert In. So with that selected, you'll see that they're unassigned. So you double click that, hit the add button here and the VAIO is number four, so we'll go number four, left. And if you count the sliders, you see it's the fourth slider. So it's insert number four, left. Click OK, and then double click this. Hit Add, and do number four, right. So now you've got the inputs all configured. Let's go to Add, and make a stereo output port. We'll call that. Windows audio well yeah audio I will spell uh, SEO well it's the VAO VAO return how's that so um, then you click this and assign the ports so add You'll notice the same numbers apply, but these are the returns. So number four left, and hit add, and number four right. You'll notice there are center, LFE, side left, side right, back left, back right. The uh, VIO system does support surround sound. You would simply add more channels and uh, in order to support surround. Okay, so of course you'd have to have a device that also has enough channels. But now we have all of that handled, 
we have to go to plugin options make sure your VST plugins folder is selected I'm using a special folder just for this demo where I just put effects but the uh, program files VST plugins folder is most likely the one you're using and then hit OK and go to tools and scan plugin folders usually using full okay and it will uh, include not only your ARC2 plugin but all your other plugins that you've got in that folder to make them available to Cantabile. Okay so now we have to add the object go to plugin and add your arc2. We have to add a root so we have a stereo out and we're going to send that to our output port the return and we have to add a root and that's our audio bio insert in and we then send that to arc2. Okay and that is the entire thing for Cantabile. For Cantabile we're finished. So you now might now want to go ahead and save and it's already got a name in mind but uh, so now we have the ports and everything set up and it's saved. Now Cantabile and Voice Meter will always start up when you run them with the last used settings. But uh, if, if you had other settings, you can always go in and, and load, load the song. Just use Open Song. If you have the other versions of Performer, uh, I mean of uh, Cantabile, like Solo or Performer, etc., you can have multiple songs loaded at once and select between them. And it's very convenient. Okay, so let's go now and finish up the job by setting up voice meter to use these inserts. And we go down here to systems, settings, options, and turn on this one and this one. Okay, so now we have the full loop. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of sound so we can test this thing. And you should, in a moment, be hearing some music. Aha! And you are. And since you're hearing it, that indicates that the loop is working. Now to totally double check, you can turn off this output. And if it cuts out, then you know the loop is working. Okay? So that means everything that's coming in is going through the arc too. When you can have your setup, okay, and it's going back out again into the same slider. So now this slider controls the result, okay, with the arc two, and you are pretty much finished now. Okay, let's turn off this music. There we have it. So this is the entire setup for doing this. So I hope that was helpful to you. If and uh, really do use this. Uh, I use it all the time. I never start up my computer that I don't start up Cantabile first and followed by voice meter and, so that I can have access to all of my sounds through my optimized room and speakers set up via ARC2 or now ARC2.5 at the time of this recording. Okay, well, I hope that's useful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I usually respond the same day or the next day to any kind of questions. And even if I have to make another video to help explain something, I'll make sure it's explained. There's a full checklist in the show notes below this video. And uh, so you can uh, copy that to notepad and print it out or whatever and follow the steps. Okay, so you don't need to have the video running to do this. Okay, great. Uh, I'm glad I could do this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.